quarterback my guest tonight, one of the best. He directed a film over 15 years ago and is releasing it on his website tomorrow. It's called Tomorrow Night. Hello? Hello, Mom? Yes! Oh, yes! <laughs> Mom, it's me, Willie. Your son, Willie. How you doing, Ma? <laughs> oh, fine! <laughs> I'm a very old woman! <laughs> Mom, you sound weird. Are you okay? <laughs> Please welcome back to the program, Louis C.K. What are you, Engelbert Humperdinck? What is this? <laughs> There's a couple in the corner. I want to make sure they got a little love over oh, there. Oh, right? you got a little love? You got a little love from Louie over yeah, there. Yeah, they're hiding behind the camera. Double guns, baby. Yeah. I remember, uh, uh, I forgot to see... Sorry. Well, <laughs> see, oh, see, I, I thought you wanted me to... Yeah, sure. Okay. Sorry. Would that be weird yeah. on a late night show? Could you do that? You think, is there any other host? That I could know, God. You can't would, touch yeah. your face. I'd be on the like, New York Post the next day. You never touch, have no. you ever, I've been on Letterman a bunch of times, I don't think I've ever touched his face. I never touched his face. <laughs> Did you know, you, 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 you Steve Carell in this film, you got uh, uh, Smigel in this film, you got all these great people in this film? I know they're in it, yes, yeah. <laughs> you, well, you asked me, did I know? You broke them, you broke them in their careers, you brought them, you were the one. That's right. And now you're releasing it. That's right. They were all broken by this film that no one's ever seen. <laughs> This was the beginning for Steve Carell. Are you it gonna, was delayed. When did you finish it, finish it? Because I remember you were editing it, and this was 96. Yes. Um, you, you gave me uh, 5,000 bucks to help me make the movie because I'd run out of money. Do you remember that? I do remember that. You should all know that if you want money no, for your project. No, that's not true. <laughs> Louis came to me. He doesn't say no. He does not say Here's no. the thing. We made a deal. I gave you the money and you gave me, remember that trumpet you used to have? That's right, I gave you a trumpet. And I bought, I bought your trumpet. That's and then right. you, and that you used that money to- To uh, make the movie. To make the I movie. I mean, it wasn't all, yeah, it was- Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But, but yes, it helped. No, a I, was, I thought it was very money. smart to give you that money for this film and, mm -hmm. and not your show. I'm really smart that way. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you know what, let me choose between the two. Let me pick yeah. the one that's never coming out. That's right. <laughs> Louie and I worked together on it was a Caroline's Comedy Hour. Yeah. And we always knew he had the best ideas, but we could never afford them. Like, David Tell and I were the other two writers, and we'd right. be like, well, what if we did, like, five-second scenarios, the elevator door opens, and something funny happens? And Louis would be like, and what if we got an army of Hessian fighters? <laughs> <laughs> we'd all be like, well, that, that, that's hilarious, that's but... Never, yeah. We can't, we, we can't no. do it. Yeah. But... Uh, is this when you watch it now? Mm -hmm. do, you, do you think that's exactly how I wanted it to, to to come out? Well, I did then. I felt like I was so happy and proud of it. It's mm -hmm. a little hard to watch now because it's crazy. It's a, the whole movie's like that. The whole movie's just <laughs> you know nothing makes much sense. But the performances are great. Right. I wrote each part for every person. Steve Carell. I had worked with him on the Dana Carvey show. Right. And so I wrote that part for him and for Smile to do together. Everybody, J.B. Smoove was, was a young comic right. then, and I wrote a part for him and all these guys. Chuck so, Sklar. Chuck Sklar. Uh, nobody knows him, but uh, <laughs> he's a, doing very well as a TV writer. He didn't stay on he's camera. Hilarious. But this was his one starring role. Yes. So, do you remember uh, how you sold the, the movie to me when you came? No, what did I say? You came to me and you said, I have this idea about a movie. It's about a guy who gets sexual gratification from sitting in a bowl of ice cream. Yeah. And, and I said, uh-huh, and he said, so I need $5,000. That's right. And, uh, and I remember uh, I asked you, what flavor? That's right. That's right. I remember we were so impressed by you that you even had the wherewithal to, like, I, you, you probably don't, we never express that because mm -hmm. we're losers who cannot yeah. express anything, but <laughs> when Louie did that, like, 
we're just a bunch of schmucks that used to yeah. sit in diners late at night and tell stupid. Right. And he was creating this film and and do and put it together and showed uh, uh, initiative in a room full of potheads, which was yeah. like wow. We didn't do. Well, because comedians only have to work like an hour a night right. sometimes. And there's a lot of, uh, yeah, you just sit around. But I really wanted to make a movie. I was dying to make a movie. And I knew I couldn't go get a job making a movie, but I thought if I called together a few dollars, I could make technically a movie. Yes. Uh, so this is a movie. It's a movie. That's I mean, it's it, long enough to be a movie. Right. It's on film, people talk, and there's a camera. Uh, you just wrote your own ad in Variety. That right. sounds to it me like... It is a movie. Louis C.K. says, this is a movie. This is a movie, yes. But everybody in it is very funny, and it's a weird relic. The hardest thing about watching this movie is that people dial on rotary phones, <laughs> and you have to sit there and watch them dial. Like whole. For some reason, I told myself you have to really dial all seven numbers on this stupid phone. And now I watch it, and I'm like, please go back in time and cut the thing. It's a nightmare. <laughs> Um, where are you going to hold the rap party? Oh, that was a long, long time. Boy, half the people are dead from the movie. <laughs> there are a couple of dead guys in the movie. I Is mean, they weren't dead when. No, 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 I died. understand. Yeah. A few people that would have be died. weird casting. Well, it would be cheaper. But, it would be cheaper. Yeah, use dead people like that. What puppets. are the union rules? I'm going to make people? a whole movie with corpses. That's my next thing. <laughs> now, you, you, put you, peanut, have... you put peanut butter in your mouth in there. <laughs> Because dead people love peanut butter. That would be the most instantly classic movie yeah. in, in, in the world. Uh, tomorrow night with dead people will be available on Louis' website, louisck.net. Louisck.net or dot com. Yeah, Either why? one. Yeah, Doesn't because matter. .net seems like you're going in the... They're both parked there. I lost louisck.com for a little bit, and so I had .net. <laughs> I had to go back and get it. Another Louis C.K. came by and was well, like, you what know, about you my gotta film? you got to be careful. If you have a website, and if you have a website that has any traffic and you let the lapse your ownership of it, it's uh -huh. porn the next second. So <laughs> it, was, it was porn for like a week. I had to get it back. I say this, and I think I, I speak for everybody yeah. when I say this. Couldn't you share? Sure, sure. But uh, so this is the next thing on my website. Also, I'm releasing a, a Todd Barry did a... a Todd a, Barry's a very funny Todd man. Barry's a great comedian. Great and comedian. He did a, though, please don't take my time with his applause, though. Uh, Todd, <laughs> Todd did a thing called a crowd work tour where he only talks to the audience for a whole... He did a whole tour of hour-long shows with no jokes, just audience, just chatting with the audience. And so we, we, I, I sent a crew out, and this is the first thing that I funded through my website. Right, we, right, right. I financed it, and we produced for Todd a special called Todd Berry Crowd Work, and that's coming out in March. It's going to be released on my website. That's like, probably the coolest thing we've done so far. You're the Don Kirshner of comedy That's now. right. Are, boy, am I old. Nobody even knows who the hell I am. Yeah, I'm Don Kirshner. Tonight, this is what it's going to be. Don Kirshner. Oh, I see. It's a yeah. promoter of things. Yeah. Tomorrow night's available on uh, Louis' website, louisck.net or .com. Get it now, because tomorrow it's going to be porn. <laughs> Louis C.K., as always.